Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. Well, of course, we're all happy about the rain deficit pretty much getting wiped out over the past few days, but... You know, it'd be nice to see the sun too, and we'll finally get to do that tomorrow afternoon, but we still got plenty of more showers to go through for tonight into tomorrow morning. Have a few areas across Connecticut that's still seeing moderate rainfall. Pretty much the whole state is getting sprinkles or drizzle, but there's a few spots where that's really coming down still quite nicely along I-95, Milford, New Haven, Madison, up towards Wallingford, Middletown, Middlefield, picking up some rain right now. Not the couple spots on I-91 where we're seeing some of that steadier rain, but for the most part, it looks like I-91 is taking a break. Over in southeast Connecticut, Montville, Norwich, Griswold, those areas are seeing some rain, and largely the Hartford area not seeing those showers on our early warning pinpoint Doppler radar, but we are seeing areas by New Hartford, Enfield, towards the Mass border, Stafford and Tallinn, picking up some decent rainfall right now. These showers are coming Coming south to north, you can see some of those reds over by Long Island. So we've still got some more of these, a couple pockets of these steady showers, but we're pretty much on the last lap here. We're going to see some more showers coming out of the south, but eventually we'll start seeing the storm pushing towards the east. But for right now, it's kind of stationary, just dra dragging up some more of those showers. We are anticipating several more hours of what you see is what you get. So once we get while we're asleep tonight, we're going to see some more moderate rainfall. But by tomorrow morning, it's noticeably different. We're seeing light rain showers in some areas, and then once we get to noon, we're pretty much done with any of that measurable precipitation. And I do want to say we're still going to see some spot showers, a little bit of drizzle in the early afternoon, but it pretty much won't be measurable stuff. So you can go outside, you can wear a rain jacket, and you'll be able to go for a hike or spend some time outside, but just know that it's going to be on the cool side. Still we'll be in the 60s as opposed to the 50s. That'll be nice. We'll see some fog and eventually those low clouds, low clouds burning off just in time for sunset. And really we'll have to wait until Tuesday to see a quote unquote normal day for us. So June 1st looking pretty good. Here's a look at the projected rainfall from now until noon for tomorrow, about a tenth of an inch. So in most places it'll be it won't be nonstop. We'll see some hit or miss showers and that'll rack up maximum a quarter inch of rain. So we got some more showers on the way for Monday morning. The rain stops except for some sprinkles, some drizzle for tomorrow afternoon, and then we're looking at beautiful stuff on Tuesday. Warmer weather June 1st. The entire first week of June is going to be typical late spring weather for us, and once we get to Thursday, Friday, we're going to see another recipe for some showers and thunderstorms, so it will not be like the storm system that we just had. This is a very unique and uh, record-setting system that we had. We'll be looking for a traditional setup to give us some showers, thunderstorms, Thursday, Friday. Look at some rain totals across the state. Meriden 1.17 just since midnight last night. About a half inch for stores, 48 degrees right now in Meriden, and 46 right now in stores. It's on the chilly side, Hartford, 49 degrees, north breeze at 10 miles per hour. Uh, definitely remind us of some March weather or some November weather. Not so much feeling like the end of May here in New Haven, 50, 50 degrees with a north breeze of 15 miles per hour. You go outside, you're in the middle of one of those showers. It's pretty nasty outside. We're looking at uh, 46 in Waterbury. Here's a look at temperatures across the rest of the region. New Haven at 50, Groton 50 degrees, and we're seeing 40s up in the Litchfield Hills. High temperatures for today. That was a record setting low maximum temperature in Hartford, 52 degrees. Back to back days that we did that. Temperatures in the 40s for tonight. We bounce into the 60s for the high temperature tomorrow. Here's a look at the early morning seven day forecast. We'll see temperatures near average on Tuesday, 80 degrees on Wednesday. The chance of some spot showers mainly in the Northwest Hills on Wednesday, and then there's a chance for the entire state to pick up some additional rain on Thursday and Friday. Slight chance of rain on Saturday. It looks like as of right now, Sunday is your best bet to get some dry and or dry in terms of no rain, but a little bit humid for the upcoming weekend.